We all have dreams, don't we? We may be women or men, however it is, we do have dreams. And especially for us women, we have the tendency of sitting and dreaming, you know, thinking of what I would want to be tomorrow, what I would want to achieve tomorrow. We have all those dreams, all of us, men and women alike. But we're talking today about those dreams women do have and what kind of things can limit those dreams. We, we want to achieve all the dreams we do have, don't we? I do want to achieve the dreams I have, and I think you do too. Now, how can we achieve those dreams without letting beliefs hinder us? You know, back in the days, I used to hear of so many stories. There are stories which could limit us, yes, but there are others which could as well push us forward. However, I want to talk about those beliefs back in the days which kind of limited women, those things which are culture, some Time, the tradition has made it a, a, a kind of creates a limitation as to achieving our dreams. We'll be talking about those limitations and how to overcome them. Those beliefs in the past which have kind of limited some women to not achieving those dreams they have so much dreamt of. It is on Moa Farm, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are today and we'll be looking at these aspects. I, of course, am Bibiana Shinita Mvuma and I do have some tremendous ladies with me. Before I go to the others, I'll talk about the one you already know. Of course, that is Linda Bumneke, who is co-hosting this program with me. Hello, Linda. Hello, Bibiana. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And I'm happy to be here. Which means you sure have been dreaming too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to find out some of those your dreams and then I want to find out if you have achieved them. If what you're doing today is kind of what you've been thinking and dreaming back in the days. I'll come back to you to of find course, that out. Of course, of course. We have a lot of time to talk about it. <laughs> oh yes, when you say that, I just like it. And then we have a tremendous lady. She is not just a teacher because she is a teacher, but she's also a mother and an artist. Do you know what it means? You're a wife, you're a teacher, you're an artist, you have to combine all of that and be one. And that can only come from a woman. They say we do multitask, that is who we are. She is, of course, Passy Great, or you may want to call her Pascaline Rolf. She is here with us. How are you doing? I'm great. How, how was it climbing the stairs to come here? <laughs> They need something else. <laughs> you said that's here. <laughs> You're here at least. And like I used to tell you, know, we're kind of hiding behind that to do some sports oh, things yeah. we don't get to. Yeah. But there's one person I really want to ask that question to, <laughs> one particular person. She's the next one I'm going to be introducing. She had a hard time. That one I'm giving it all. <laughs> she had a hard time climbing the stairs today. And that, of course, is known other by Leela Kiga. How is the sport? <laughs> Hectic. But I loved sporting. it though. It was yeah. sporting. <laughs> she came panting and she was like, oh my God, she had to move and then she has to get some pauses and have some rest. Yeah. Uh, she's a journalist and then she's an entrepreneur. She is actually so many things. Her titles, her caps are so many. You won't want to wear them, I'm sure, because you don't have the energy. <laughs> but I admire her for that. I hope you're doing good, however. I'm fantastic. Thank you for having me. I am so glad we have you today, actually. We want to be talking about those beliefs. You know, back in the days, we had so many things, and ironically, they, they still exist in some societies. They, they still exist, those beliefs which uh, have created some limitations. I don't know if you think of anything, to start with, which has served as a limitation to a, woman's, uh, a woman achieving her success. Um, I think there are quite a lot of things that um, contribute to women not achieving the things they set for themselves. And, and when you started, you mentioned quite a lot of them. And um, just to set the context, I think um, when we're talking about limiting beliefs, we're talking about those mental barriers yeah. that yeah. impede Especially you that, from, yeah. from achieving those things that you mm -hmm. want in life. Mm -hmm. And so um, when it comes to us women, especially in our context, African women, uh, I think one of the very first things that um, influence us is a societal influence or call it cultural norms and cultural beliefs. Yeah. Um, when you grow up in an African community, in a typical African family, mm -hmm. there are things that you believe that you can't do as a woman. Sure. And it is so deep seated that parents don't say them these days, mm -hmm. but you unconsciously grow with that yes. at the back of your mind, yes. right? Ironically. And when you grow up, you get to have some opportunities before you. you. You tend to want to, you know, stay away or shy away from them. Not because somebody told you you shouldn't, yeah. but because of this cultural 
a norm, this way society has groomed you over time, yeah. groomed your parents, even groomed your, your, your brothers, your sisters, mm -hmm. and unconsciously you just know this is my place is and this is a place I can't go to. Mm -hmm. And even though we're struggling and we're trying to ensure that women really get empowered and, mm -hmm. and have those opportunities that, and go for those opportunities, that mental barrier yes. still stands. So that, I know, think that's the greatest. When you say this, I kind of remember oh, one time, you know, back in the days, it's today we're having female football and you see women all over yeah. the place. Back in the days, you imagine if I loved football. How do I even get that? Because we, we didn't have any team, even a local team somewhere which has to do with football. But I'm very sure there were women back then who had, but no, it, it just shows that that is a man's thing. How do you, you even look at a woman whose morphology tells a little more like a male and well, Hmm, that lady, I love you. You know, we, we gossip about them. It was a big deal. But whoa, today they've broken those barriers, those, that, that mental limitation, because it, it all begins in there. Yeah. You know, the head tells you, you you shouldn't be that. You are not supposed to be. Come on, you're a woman. And how dare you want to do that? Now, there is this aspect, too, of marriage. I don't know, but it kind of serves as a limitation in several other aspects, not just mental, but as well culturally. You realize the fact that culturally, uh, some some communities have it such that you, as a woman, you do not you do not venture into some kind of of, of activities yes. just because of the fact that you're a woman. Now, let me turn to you, Pasi Great. What, what is your take as per marriage with regards to achieving dreams? How do you think marriage can serve as a limitation to someone's uh, achievement of their dreams? Well, uh, marriage as a limitation mm -hmm. to someone like mm -hmm. a woman mm -hmm. achieving her dreams. Yeah. Uh, first of all, we're talking of limitations. We are talking about those things that, those ideas, as she said, yeah. the thoughts, mm -hmm. mental, mm -hmm. mentally, that will hinder or that will prevent you mm -hmm. from achieving something, yeah. achieving your dreams. Mm -hmm. It holds us back. It constrains us. Mm -hmm. It constrains. So those things that will prevent that woman from getting to those wonderful beliefs, yeah. those great potentials that she's thinking of. Mm -hmm. Uh, you rightly said earlier there that uh, our culture yeah. is one of the things, especially in Africa, mm -hmm. yes, most women, they tend to not want to get into some levels yeah. of uh, uh, careers or professions mm -hmm. because they're afraid that they may not get married. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, for example, a footballer, mm -hmm. <laughs> a woman being a footballer, yes. who will want to marry a man. They will think that men are the ones who do this thing. Yes. And they will say, this woman, you are a man and I am a man. And they may even mock the man later. And, they may mock, yeah. and the man may feel intimidated, <laughs> maybe by the morphology or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it doesn't just stand well. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, or um, I don't know if some people still consider that now, mm -hmm. Sports was mainly for men. Yes. Women were not actually into sports. Mm -hmm. You know, all of this, which is good for both men and everybody. Yeah. Those are things to keep us healthy and our physique mm -hmm. and so on. But today, we see we are gradually getting into everybody should get into Not physical Not cutting you activities. short, someone commented to me that how many people do you see watching female football? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to male to football, male what football. happens? <laughs> Everybody, everybody. Is, mm -hmm. So just like you say, but gradually we are getting into. Do we see that our female footballers are doing something great, and people are gradually getting interested, yes. and that is how it is changing. Mm -hmm. So marriage should not hinder, or should not cause you to think that you cannot get somewhere, yeah. but rather it should be able to rather spur you up. Yes, it should be able to uh, uh, encourage you you because now you're thinking of you have to get married that man you're getting married to is the person you he's going to be is your subordinate mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> he's going to be your head yes you're going to be under him you are under and him this yes. man he is to push you he mm -hmm. is to to promote you mm -hmm. you are to have uh, the the uh, 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 the same vision, yes, Yes. you you get, got married to this man because you are compatible. Mm -hmm. And so you have the same ideas mm -hmm. and he is to encourage you as well as you are to be his helper mm -hmm. and 
encourage and promote together. him. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are doing is promoting that man. And whatever you have to do mm -hmm. in mind, your dreams, that man will help you bring it out. Mm -hmm. Because helping you bring it out is actually what? Uh, 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 boosting the man, bringing yeah. out the man. Yeah. A woman compliments a man. Mm -hmm. A woman is there to help this man to, to, to bring out the stars of this man, to make mm -hmm. this man uh, flourish. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is what uh, most of our men don't understand. They rather mm -hmm. put our women behind uh, to stay in the background, to stay in the kitchen, in the house, to keep preparing food. To That is their place. Mm -hmm. But really, that is their place. We don't dispute deny that fact. Them. We don't dis deny that. But they can do other things mm -hmm. alongside. They are multitasking, as you said. Mm -hmm. We can do many other things not just for ourselves. Yes, we want to keep ourselves active mm -hmm. and, and influential and, and impacting, yes. But also for you, the man out there, mm -hmm. yes, it's also his credit to you. Mm -hmm. And that is making you the king. Mm. Making you more of the king than yeah, you what, are. What, you want to rule a kingdom <laughs> with nobody there? With nobody so. there. <laughs> it's making you the king. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, you the you man have the you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you the man you are making that queen mm -hmm. actually be the queen. Mm -hmm. Yes, people will see her as the queen and uh, give you the glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last time we were talking about <laughs> this, Linda spoke oh, negatively. Yeah. As, a, as an artist, a musician, mm -hmm. and also a teacher, yes. what uh, experience shaped your journey? Well, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about limiting beliefs yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody, I think everybody have gone through or have had that mm -hmm. at some point in life. Yeah. You know, probably at some point in your life you've said, I can't do this. I'm not too good. I'm not sure. I'm not as beautiful. I don't have, my voice is not as harsh. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm good enough. We've all thought of that, but we manage to get to a certain place because we overcome those beliefs, mm -hmm. because we overcome them. Mm -hmm. So at some point in my life, I had um, actually, uh, before I go to that, yeah. I, want, I want to make it clear that this limiting beliefs begins from some point okay. as a child. She said from it's childhood. mental, from yeah. childhood. It's mental and it cultivates our parents, some things we see around us, the thoughts may surely from people, we yeah. live, mm -hmm. uh, experiences with people, yeah. um, comments, yeah. you just get comments from people, hey, it be done, hey, not so it be done. Mm -hmm. I had, I, and you're just like, wow, is that how it yeah. goes? It means that if I, it means that I will be, hey, and then you took that thing that happened to somebody once, uh, a one-time thing, one-time negative thing which happened to somebody and you cement it as it becomes a, a new, a normal new to you. It becomes a normal new which, which now limits you. you. You have a dream but you are unable You've to get there. You actually so. created your limitation. And we must say that it begins mild, it begins small, mild, and progressively changes to different dimensions. Mm -hmm. You get to a level that you are now protecting your, uh, uh, your, your, your disappointment. You're protecting okay. it. Your, 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 your disappointment, you, you're protecting it. I am like this because I don't, you, uh, you're not so your excuses, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And then it finally gets to a stage where it develops to a total self-hatred. Mm. Because you've protected it now, you, you got to a stage that, why am I like this? Others, I just, why did I even come to this? Why, I'm just useless. Oh, God. Because you harbor that from that marriage stage, yeah. got to a certain stage, and finally it gets to that yeah. level. Yeah. But no matter what, which stage you find yourself in, mm. the truth is that you can fix it. <laughs> Have you always wanted to be a singer? You can fix it. Yes. I was From able to fix it. Now, at a certain stage, I was very interested in music. But now, with the, you know, music entails a lot. Mm -hmm. And finance and mm -hmm. encouragement, support, mm -hmm. and all of that. And so I 
the finance was there, not there. And, you know, I was just dreaming. I was just hopeful. Yeah. And it was taking time. But thank God for the wiring he wired me. Yeah. I am a very patient person. Okay. I'm very, very patient. I strive. I'm hardworking. And that's a characteristic Though, you don't usually get with women. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I kept striving, I kept believing, no matter the discouragement, no matter the delay, I didn't tell myself that it's too late. That's one thing that we will say. Those are some of the beliefs. We will say, it's too late, mm -hmm. I'm tired. Yes. Those beliefs, yes. it will hinder you. But when you overcome them, you are able to... I got now to a point where I told myself that, no, I'm not going to wait till I get married. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get married before I begin my music. Okay. I'm not going to wait till I get married. I have to, you know, the Bible says faith without action is useless. Yeah. Take up on yourself this and start up something. Mm -hmm. And then I began it. And in the course of my doing what I like, yes. my passion and enjoying it, yes. mm -hmm. I got my husband. You see? We got married, and he's a music man. <laughs> oh. And we are doing, he buys my vision. We have one vision. Mm -hmm. oh. And we are working together in the music. I hope I'm not feeling jealous now. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I think I'm <laughs> Please don't. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure your husband, mm -hmm. you and your husband, you have this mm -hmm. sort of vision. We must not be one. Mm -hmm. So we, at uh, some point, that is how... I finally, through my patience and yeah. all of that, it's a long story, but in the nutshell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, patience. so let me come to Leila. Yes. Leila, you are a journalist. You are also an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have other things that you're <laughs> doing. Titles, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I promise let, you. What, well, let's talk about societal expectations and stereotypes. Yeah. Do you think that these are some... Um, some things that trigger that trigger limitations in mm -hmm. women because you as a journalist and also an entrepreneur you have other things that you're doing how yeah. are you able to put all these things together without having that limitation that you're just a woman oh <laughs> <laughs> um uh first of all you know when when you say i'm just a woman mm -hmm. uh it's an expression of a limiting belief Okay. Because the moment you quantify or you qualify yourself with that article, just yes. it already indicates that somewhere in the mind, I am not worthy okay. of those things. I am not worthy mm. to do this. I'm not worthy to become this. And just that we're talking about societal influence or societal uh, impact on us, it's really deep. It's it's deeper than we even think. Yeah. Because, um, like I said, most of our families. They don't talk about those things these days because of so much education that is happening now. Mm -hmm. And so um, parents have grown to see the potential in their daughters. And so they are investing in their daughters. Mm -hmm. And brothers have also seen the potential in their sisters. In their sisters. And they're encouraging them. And together, you know, the family is growing and people are growing. Yeah. But this thing, um, this male dominance or this male hegemony, this yeah. myth mm -hmm. that says the man has to do it all. Nothing against men nothing against men. Mm -hmm. It's just a myth and a belief that is so deeply ingrained in our society that even when you were growing up, I'll give you a very simple example to show you how strong it is till you did. Okay. When you were growing up in your home, mm -hmm. this is what they say. Automatically, you wash the plates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do the cooking. <laughs> you do the cooking. You probably do the laundry. Mm -hmm. You do all those things, right? You take yeah. care of the home with your mom, which is a good thing. It's good training. Mm -hmm. And what happens? Your brother's always just hanging out around, mm. watching, playing TV, watching TV, playing, playing ball. you know. It's not like... And even the, the, kick the ball to disturb the dishes you're, you're, you're watching. watching. And they don't you even know? beat him. <laughs> it's there. Nobody's saying anything. It's yeah. just like, oh, but she's a girl. She needs to learn. True. Mm. But that is impacting and influencing the mm. way that girl will be tomorrow. And not only the girl. It's going to impact the way the boy will perceive the girl. Exactly. And that's why even though a boy would tell you, oh, you know, oh, no, I believe in women empowerment. I support my sisters. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but when they come to the office space, for example, there's some things that unconsciously he would think and say you cannot do it. Mm. Not because he's consciously thought of it and said, mm -hmm. no, this girl it's cannot. Just <laughs> it's just been ingrained yeah. from childhood by little things that have been done and a accepted culture, yeah. culturally. Mm -hmm. And so okay. it's really a deep thing and it's a deep work that happens from the home. Okay. That we need to have these conversations with our children. Yeah. We need to let them realize that, hey, this is a world of opportunities. Mm -hmm. We all have these opportunities and we all can become 
what we desire to be in our hearts. If we put in the work, mm -hmm. you put in the work, you become what you want. Mm -hmm. Awareness creates your reality. Mm -hmm. And so what we are aware of when we grow up becomes our reality when we're adults. Mm -hmm. And so when somebody tells you, oh, it's too much to be this, to be that, to be that, mm -hmm. it's an awareness that has grown to become a core belief, that's grown to become the core of your person. And so you live from there. No matter what we say around, yeah. you hear and you're like, Masao. Mm -hmm. The next thing is, you still go back because yeah. it's deep, it's yeah. deeply yeah. seated. It's and so it, it starts, mm -hmm. it's within. Mm -hmm. And so the very first thing is, get into a place where you are, first of all, you're self-aware. Yeah. Self-aware. You're aware of yourself. The point that you are conscious of who you are as a person, as a being, the worth and the value that you have. Mm -hmm. Not as a woman now, but as a being, as, as a, a person, being. as a oh, human being. Great. That, first of all, you're worthy. You deserve all the good things. You are created for joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. You are created for success. Mm -hmm. You are created to be a happy person. Mm -hmm. And you know, when all this awareness of yourself and you're also conscious of those beliefs that limit you because you need to know them yeah mm -hmm. you need to know those thoughts that those things that trigger those thoughts mm -hmm. in you those things that and when you're aware of them you work on them mm -hmm. and when you're more more and more self-aware of who you are and most importantly you're aware of how loved you are because that's a problem okay because when you're not conscious of how loved you are and how cherished and valued you are. Mm -hmm. Even if I sent you to the best schools on earth, you will come back and stay home with me. There are children like that. Yeah. Parents have invested yeah, yeah. huge sums of money, yet they're just idling around. And they're like, what is, it is not the child's fault. Deep within, there is a limited belief that is hindering this child from pursuing that dream, it. from pursuing that. And so we start by educating our children, mm -hmm. letting them know, first of all, you are loved as a person. Nothing conditions the love that I, as your parent, has for you. God has for you. Society has nothing conditions that. And so whatever you face in life should not question that fact. It could destabilize you for a moment, but it should never question the fact that you're loved and you're valued. And when you grow up with that, what happens is you're open to opportunities. You're open to challenges. You're open to all these things. And you can be a journalist. You can practice. You can do it. And you can also venture into other things. You can say, hey, you know what? I like this and I'm going to do it. And you can venture into it and you will do it and you will do it well. Mm -hmm. And you can venture into whatever you want to venture and you do it. It starts with you. It is about you. Because no matter what everybody will say at the end of the day, what matters is what you are aware of within. Mm -hmm. So self-awareness, what you're aware of about, first of all, God, for those who are Christians and every other belief, what you're aware of. What do you think? What do what you know about yourself from that perspective? Mm -hmm. Family, what are you aware of when it comes to the people in your life? Mm -hmm. About yourself, about the things you want to do. What do you hold in your consciousness about these things? That's what matters. And that's where the work begins. Because when your consciousness is enlightened and you begin to see yourself from that perspective of, I can do all things. Okay. I can do it. I can become it. It starts happening. Mm -hmm. You just see the opportunities when you see opportunities you identify and you start applying yourself to them. And before you know, you are a jack of all trade and master of all. <laughs> oh, I, I like the end of it. Yeah, the master of all part of it. <laughs> but, 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 but before we get to something, I just want to ask, like, Cassie mm -hmm. Grace, she, she dreamt of becoming a musician. Did mm -hmm. you dream of becoming a journalist? Oh, that has, that, let me put hard, I okay? Okay. okay. I yeah. my life long dream. Mm -hmm. wow. Contrary to many people, mm -hmm. I grew up knowing that I'll be a journalist. Oh, wow. okay. As young as I was, when I watched Ann Sang, when I watched Denise Epote, when I watched Rose Epier, when I watched um, uh, all these amazing, Ufe Seke, all these yes. women, from my tender childhood, I knew that's what I wanted to become. Oh. Before I even got to secondary school, I knew I just wanted to do that. You knew it was just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Mm, yes. So when I got to secondary school and when I applied for UB, the first choice, second choice, third choice, I didn't have any. I didn't want any. Mm. I said journalism and mass communication, nothing else. Mm -hmm. So I it's something that I knew from it. Yeah. Oh. I knew I, I, I knew You're I was still born to living talk. your dream. Yes. Very few people get that chance, you know. <laughs> yes. And she spoke about going to the university. Do you, do you uh, believe that? Um, education can uh, step in as a limitation to achieving of these course. beliefs. Okay. Of course. It's one of the, I think it's one of the huge limiting beliefs we have. Again, it boils down to the family. Mm -hmm. Why? Because parents back then and some today still believe that some kind of education 
who need some kind of employment that they want their children to wow. be. Mm -hmm. And so since I grew up, I wanted to become a medical doctor, I didn't get a chance. My child is going to become. Mm -hmm. You don't have and a choice. And so my child is going to go to medical school, mm -hmm. or my child is going to go to law school, mm -hmm. or my child is going to go to business school because I didn't get the chance. And so my child is going to go because according to standards, mm -hmm. that is how it should be. Yeah. And so the child spends all their time Following going their through medical dream. school. Yeah. And after eight years or how many years, I don't know, comes out and it becomes a DJ. Oh. <laughs> a, medical a medical DJ. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> a that's a, that's a, a medical teacher. A DJ. A medical DJ. Yeah. please. Okay. Our friends who are, who are medical doctors who love music so much. <laughs> Uh, each time they do that, I say, you miss your profession. Oh. <laughs> you miss your profession. You're not supposed to be a doctor. You know, it happens to many people. Yes. There are a lot of people who sure. told you, hey, I studied this in school, mm -hmm. but this is what I'm doing today. No, I studied this true, in school. because this we want to I'm count out there the number of people who started this in school and they're doing that. Something else. Yeah. Few, yes. mm -hmm. It's few. just a handful. Mm -hmm. Very few. So education can be. And so we need, to let, we need to let our children, we need to realize that formal education is good, mm -hmm. but it's not only about formal education. Yeah. There's informal education that yeah. comes in, and there's some of these talents and skills that children possess that mm -hmm. cannot be necessarily nurtured in school, formal school. And so when your child has these tendencies, explore all of them. Let the child go to dance school. Let the child go to, to culinary school. Let the child explore all these things. You never know. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow this child is going to become, the child will have all these possibilities and will choose what resonates deep within. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we are talking about the African context. And I kind of see something different when we, when we look at the Western context and the African context. For example, if you, you have your child and instead of you pushing your child or let's say observing your child from a tender, tender age to see what this child likes or what this child wants to be doing. Mm -hmm. No, you don't really look at it because we have some children who grow up with the, the passion for music, as you said, though you see them playing with uh, empty containers. Uh, containers and they are drumming. Maybe for you, you're like, you're making noise, stop mm -hmm. that noise. Meanwhile, this child, you, you, you don't have the keen attention to observe that this child has something like a drama, of course, they're professional dramas, yeah. celebrity dramas. Making a lot of money. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like in the African context, they don't push us towards achieving that dream that we have from a tender age. At one point, you have a certain kind of a dream or a passion, and when you get to a stage like at the age of 13, 15, that thing is dead. You don't have it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it just flashes away, mm -hmm. and nobody is there to be like. But you used to be like drumming. You like you used to like cooking. Yeah. Yes. You, you used to like play, uh, playing mama and papa, mm -hmm. and now it's yeah. no more. It's, no more it's very strong. Societal and cultural influence mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. It's very strong because mm -hmm. look at look at the okay. Look at the Cameroonian. Let's look at the Cameroonian entertainment landscape. Industry, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them. Um, I've had to work with quite a couple of them when it comes to working on brands and building them. Okay. And many of them went to school. I have one in mind as I'm speaking. It's an accountant by training. Okay. But she's a very, very creative person. She worked as an accountant. She worked for a local bank mm -hmm. here. But she realized that her lifelong dream had everything to do with fashion and, and this creative industry. And she left her job and she decided to pursue that as a career. She went to school. And today she's one of the brands that are rising so fast. And she's so creative and she's so talented. And when I look at her and I look at the number of years she spent studying in the university to become yeah. an accountant. The years she well, wasted. What she actually. really wanted in her. Mm -hmm. And not many get that opportunity to oh, no. switch to pursue their dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's how many of them. I know another one who is... Um, who is uh, some uh, I don't know, tech, this tech thing, sorry. Some in, engineer. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. some IT kind, engineer. Not even IT, it's, yeah, this green something, something okay, engineer. Okay. Equally fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Say, this is my lifelong dream. And mm -hmm. she switched. And so many of them, mm -hmm. so many of them switching. And if you look at them, if you had to ask them, they'll tell you all of them their background. None of them is a creative industry. None of them went and studied theater arts, mm -hmm. or none of them studied fashion designing in school. None of them. But as they grew up, 
with the, the change in mentality and the change in the way mm -hmm. society looks at things, yeah. mm -hmm. they were able to say, hey, I'm going to assume this as a career, mm -hmm. as a dream, and I'm, I'm going to pursue it. But that thing, they spent huge money studying, sleepless mm -hmm. nights, passing, getting degrees and all of that, it's, it's in a drawer, you know, just, just wasting there. I know one that's a very, very beautiful accountant, but she's an amazing pastry chef. If she bakes cake here, you will not believe. Yeah. And that's what's making her known mm -hmm. all over. Just to tell you that uh, outlook on society, as it's changing, mm -hmm. um, it's also helping us also adapt. We no yes. longer say, I must become a doctor, I must become a lawyer, I must work in an office, I must become, I must become, no. Now we are open to other, other professions and we're working to professionalize uh, them. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> now, I, I don't know if uh, fear could be a factor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it, sometimes you, you have this dream, you're so certain that, okay, this is what I actually want to be, but you're doubting yourself, like you, you, you're doubting your society even. You're like, is it possible that I can... Imagine someone wanting to be an astronaut in Cameroon. You start, you may have the potential, yeah. but you're like, in Cameroon, can I achieve that? Yeah, like the context makes you kind of wonder if there are chances you can get to that. I think you, you're a teacher, so you may have had students whom you see them, you feel they've got potential, yeah. but you, you, you see that they don't seem to trust their they potential. Okay, you, you yeah. get to see those. Yeah, it happens all around students, not just students, okay. even people around. Yeah. And uh, most of the times we tend to be we are supposed to be our biggest cheerleader. Okay. Clap yeah. for yourself. Oh, oh yes. Clap for your juju. Yeah. What Indeed. you're capable of, what you, <laughs> your potential is clap for it. Mm -hmm. But we tend to be our biggest enemies. We, 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 tend, we keep looking at our limitations. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not good at this. Oh, I'm not good at this. You, 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 you are too fast to see your limitation but very and not even see what you have done. Mm -hmm. So you can begin by seeing what you have done, what you're good at. That small thing that you have done, clap for yourself. Oh, I did this. Did I do this? Yeah. I did this. And you say, wow, if I could do this, it means I could do this. Mm -hmm. I can do this. And then you do this one, and then you do that. Mm -hmm. There are people that have dreamt of becoming big people, captains, and all of that. But now it waters down because of our beliefs. Mm -hmm. As you said, our families, we have got a great work to do, beginning home, mm -hmm. in our homes. Mm -hmm. You know, cause your children to have this positive mindset, that they can become whatever they want to be. They can, they, the world is free, it's a free world. We are living in a free world. There's a song like that, I love it. Yeah. It's a free <laughs> world. You mm -hmm. can become whatever you want to be. Yeah. If you are determined, mm -hmm. if you know yourself, set your goals, mm -hmm. pursue them. Mm -hmm. Pursue them. Begin somewhere. Yeah. You can begin by hitting that drum, as you said, those containers. Yeah. And then from hitting those containers, as you are advancing, you hit a bucket. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. then you will hit a, a drum, gallon. A gallon. <laughs> and then finally, you yeah. hit a real, a, a, a real drum. A, a real yeah. drum. Mm -hmm. And then you hit an electric drum. Oh. And mm -hmm. then, as you are advancing, people are seeing you. People, there are people somewhere that need people who will do something, but they don't have it. Okay. But when they see you do what you are doing, they say, I was looking for this man. Where mm -hmm. has he been? Where has she been? Yeah. And they will come get you. And when they come get you, you are improving. You are yeah. developing your skills, yeah. your potentials. Yeah. And another person of a higher uh, caliber or chaos, uh, whatever, yeah. than what you were doing, yes. they will mm -hmm. see you. Oh, she can be the person we're looking for mm -hmm. to handle this theory, to be this uh, machine, whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they bring you in. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one looks new, but I like it. It's challenging. Mm -hmm. I love challenges. Get into it. Yeah. And then you, that is yourself being a pilot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is yourself being a president. Oh, <laughs> oh. That is yourself. <laughs> and we are women. Um, I want to give it to the women out there that are making it because there are some women will look at them and say, well, if not, if she, if she can be there, why not me? Yeah. Thank God for the boldness, the determination, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. effrontery they had to get to that level. Yes. And so because it's encouraging some people, some young girls out there, down there are looking at them and they can 
at least say that I can. Yeah. Yes, they are inspiring. There are great inspirations out there. So don't limit yourself. As students out there, even if you're not a student, even if you are old, you have gotten to a certain level, you're a big woman, you're 30, you're 40, you're 50, don't let that, there is another limiting belief we, I would say, it's too late. Don't say it's too late. Yeah. Don't say I'm tired of mm -hmm. trying. Mm -hmm. Those are limiting beliefs. Yeah. Yes. Get, do what, you have the time. It's too late, you are, but you have a time now. Yeah. You, you don't have time. You say you don't have time. This time that you have in saying you don't have time, use it. <laughs> That's the time you should be using. <laughs> use it and yeah. do something. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, there is this woman, she loved school, but she will not go to school. I'm already old. I have these children. Mm -hmm. Hey, no school, na fool, na. And then there is this other woman in Nebo who had her children already. And then she said she loved school, but now she was not able to go to school because of her background. Now she got married, her husband was willing to sponsor her in school. Okay. So she went to Form 3, went to Form 5, the second oh. year she had her advanced level Whoa. even in school. And then the third year she had her advanced level. Whoa. The other woman was there, I'm, yeah, there is no time, I'm too big. She kept seeing the other woman going. Advancing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then uh, she went now to the teacher's training college mm -hmm. the next year. Um, I don't know, one year or two years, she got her KPM, I think that's how they call it. And then, uh, after that, she started teaching in the primary school. But she said she doesn't want, she wants to be in a class, teach bigger people. Oh. Why teaching in the primary school? She was going to the university to get her first degree. She went, achieved her first, acquired her first degree. It's amazing. And then <clears throat> she was integrated and the government, uh, after being integrated, that thing, there is something that they call reclassification in okay. the system. And now she is, is it a great one teacher or something great, two, A2, two, A1. She now is a teacher's trainer. You are kidding me. And it took her about people. 15 years. While her neighbor well, is still dreaming, this. maybe. <laughs> and in the course of this, now she is, you know, when you come in to work here, you get up every morning, bathe, put mm -hmm. up your yeah, you makeup, know, makeup and, and wear your shoes. Mm -hmm. You're looking responsible, you're looking good. Mm -hmm. That neighbor is that tiny rapper and oh. wearing kaba looking. Hey. Oh. And now it starts, it, 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 she starts looking at the other one like, hmm, a big people that you could Me have been. You were both dreaming <laughs> you together. You were both dreaming yes. together. Exactly. You could have been because she said, there's no bed. Now use the time you have. To do something in no time you become a great person yeah. mm -hmm. now she is a teacher's trainer mm. and she arrived her dream she got her dream yes. because she got beaten those beliefs yes yes that is too late i've had children this children i cannot be but she went and sat in classroom with children and she got what she had. Yeah. She said, it's not enough. You say, it's enough. It, it, it can, I can't. Stop, stop saying I can't. You can. Because you've got the potentials. If you have had that desire, it means you can. Yeah. When the desire has dropped in your heart, mm -hmm. in, your, in your mind, it means that you can do it. Yes, because you've got, just got to have that faith. Because hey. the, the, the wiring is there. Yes. God has, we have potentials, multitasking. Women, especially for the women. We're not talking about men because they are trying and they are women. Yeah, more daring in most cases. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That exactly. actually, it, it's so, so the, well, there is this aspect. Um, I, I think there was something on education you, you were wanting to, to yes, bring up. Yes, but before we get to that, I just want to say, I, I have a dream. When I was younger, uh, uh, just like Leila, I used to, I love watching news. I love watching newscasts and I, I just like the composure, the way they were, the way I, I was not really too fan of radio news, but when it comes to TV news, I love watching watching it. And I particularly love um, international news, like when they talk about politics, they okay. talk about diplomacy. Mm -hmm. And it triggered something in me and I was like, I'm going to be a diplomat. I'm mm -hmm. going to be a diplomat. So as I was going on, life goes on. Mm -hmm. When I finished uh, secondary school and I had to get into the university, I wanted to get into the international schools of public uh, of uh, international mm -hmm. relations yeah. in Yaoundé. That's the school I wanted to go to. But then I didn't know that it was just for master's level. But I just wanted to enter that school and then, so okay, that one passed. I went to UB. 
I'm from UB. But then I was not still satisfied. Okay. I just wanted to enter that school. Mm -hmm. And as life does the thing, the opportunity you presented did. itself wow. and I went there. Mm -hmm. and, and I came out. I'm mm -hmm. satisfied. Mm -hmm. That is it. Yes. You've, you've so fed that dream. I just fed the dream. So, but then before getting into that into the school, there's mm -hmm. when you come out from school from for your, you finish your first degree, mm -hmm. you want to make money. Mm -hmm. You just want to make money. <laughs> yes. but you see yourself going back to school or having to do something else that mm -hmm. does not have to do with making money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you think that this aspect of making money is something <laughs> that kills someone's <laughs> dream? Like you 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 have the dream of becoming a drummer, an actress, and you know how long this thing goes yeah, for you to even start earning good <laughs> money from it. But then, the money is not coming, but you just want to, you want to do something that will fetch it's you bringing money. bringing the cash now, right now. now, now. now. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that comes to your mind is to do something else yeah. away from your dream. From your dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens. That's very, it does very happen. interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. I became a teacher mm -hmm. because I did not have the finance to or she or she she my music okay. career. And so it would have cost me to stop even pursuing the musical career, but I didn't stop. Mm -hmm. So I was able to become a teacher and still pursue my musical career. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that aspect of uh, there's no time, like it's late, mm -hmm. is a limiting belief, mm -hmm. which we have to also fight it. It's never late. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's never late. So when so, you get the money, you can still pursue it. You can still <laughs> pursue it. Yes, <laughs> yes, really. Because you'll you never have pursue. enough money. Okay. So you, you really can never have, have enough money. money. Exactly. You never have enough money. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, um, I think one of the things that uh, hinder us mm -hmm. is that we we look at money as an end in itself. Mm -hmm. We consider money the end of it. Yes. If I have the money, if I should have this amount, this amount of, of money, money oh, I will damn. be fine. Yes. But the moment that amount gets into your hand, you realize you, you have already changed you the figure. You start solving <laughs> the things you have yes. or the plans you have. So I think um, it, it boils down, from my perspective, to so something I've been I've been thinking about a lot of recent, and it's trying to find out why you want to do the things you do. Mm -hmm. Because the why of your life's Pursuit mm -hmm. is what will keep you even when the money doesn't come it's in. It's gone, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it will keep you even when the money comes. It will keep you level-headed. So understanding why you, first of all, are on that pursuit is what will help you. Because believe me, the rocky waters are waiting for you in yes. different dimensions. In different dimensions. As you progress it increases. Mm -hmm. As you progress, it increases. And money, mm -hmm. at some point, will be one of the biggest challenges you will have to face, mm -hmm. mastering and managing money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you spoke about even the ability of keeping level-headed after the money comes. That yeah. is one thing which is, is so difficult for yes. people to manage. Yes, yes. very, like, very. Why, why should I still mingle with those boys, <laughs> supposedly my parents, when I am who you I am? Already have you already what you have. On. <laughs> you, you may want Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. It boils down to why. <laughs> why? Because what, your why is mm. what keeps you level-headed. Your why is what keeps you humble. Mm -hmm. Your why is what keeps you compassionate. It's what keeps you considerate of others. Mm -hmm. So even if you get great success, mm -hmm. you can still look at other people and value them for who they are. Yeah. Even if you had all the money on earth, yeah. you can still look at another person and just say, hey, I mean, you're great, you're good at what you do, you're, mm -hmm. you're valuable, you're, you're amazing. And when they look at you with all the influence and all the opportunities and telling them they're valuable, they're like, mm, mm -hmm. if this person can say that to me, you know, that's what keeps you level-headed. It's not necessarily the money, yes. mm -hmm. because the money, money like you say, it's the root. Of so all evil. It's the root. It is not evil. It is, it is the it root. Is the root. It is what yes. opens you to that. So when you're not, you don't have this base on which you're standing, mm -hmm. money will throw you off, off the rail. That is so it. pursue it. Pursue your dream. It's true money can hinder you from pursuing that dream that you want. Uh -huh. And you might have to do other things. But stay the course. Like she said, stay the course. Stay you the could course. be doing another job, but keep pursuing that dream. And Keep another thing it. too could be that you get the money because you couldn't you couldn't get to your dream because you needed money to to get it and then you had to pause and then get money. Yeah. Then the money becomes so sweet. And you, you want know, to keep getting I, the I, money. you just want to keep getting it. 
that he looks you stay where you would be. Yes, you don't, that is you don't want to move. But then it goes someone back. out there. It goes back to why. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. why. Why did you want to get you the money in the first place? Yes. You so it's focus. like your compass. Mm -hmm. It stays before you every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. It helps you to make your choices. Mm -hmm. okay. It helps in making choices. For example, I'll give a very funny example. I was sharing with my sister while I was coming here. Okay. And I was telling her, you know what? She said, I thought I was going to a media. And she's like, Oh, you said yes to one this time. I say yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's like, why did you say yes? Mm. I said, I think the theme speaks to me. Oh. It speaks to my core value. I believe I'm in empowering so women. so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in empowering women. Yeah. And yeah. that's something that I spend most of my time doing. Okay. Empowering women. And women need to hear those things. Yeah. Yes. Because I, I've noticed that comparatively to men, women are a little, let me use the word fecal minded, mm -hmm. such that they can easily be, be moved by words yeah. than yeah. men. Yeah. In the sense that when they're not hearing these things, mm -hmm. they can stay low. Yeah. Yes. Stay when it takes yes. yeah. yeah. That's how men will get daring even mm -hmm. without hearing these things. Mm -hmm. But women are those uh, gender that would want to really b believe in what they hear yeah. they, by the time like they hear things faith comes by hearing by hearing by the yes. time you you told them that you can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you'll be you'll be amazed at, at what can come out of yeah. a woman though a man can be there and he's doing his thing he doesn't care what you say yeah, yeah he's going on but when it comes to women, they, 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 I don't know. It's just like we're just molded in that way. I think mm -hmm. it's, we're coming. We're coming out of a limiting belief, yes, yeah. and that's yeah. one of the ways you overcome yeah. a limiting mm -hmm. belief. Mm -hmm. or surround yourself with people, people who can help nurture you. Yes. Networks, mm -hmm. building communities, building support systems. I always tell people, I come from a background of women supporting women. Okay, that's my, sister who my mm -hmm. grandmother. <laughs> In a, in a space where nobody sent the daughter to school, sent my mother to school. Wow. And my mother went to school, went to secondary school, went to school, uh, came out and had the opportunities she had, got a job as a government of worker and everything. Mm -hmm. When I lost my dad and everything, my mom could not cater for all of us, my siblings and I. Yeah. My other sister stood in. Mm -hmm. She took over. Wow. I went through university. I had I had the life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I, 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 when I look at the days, I was just standing high when I was coming. I said, mm -hmm. "You used to send me money." Oh. Mm -hmm. but I, mean, I just sat and had nothing, and she was just mm -hmm. like, "Back then, we had to travel to Limbe to go to MoneyGram." Mm -hmm. You don't I mean, say. She just kept sending it. Mm -hmm. I just had money, but no need for it, you know. Mm -hmm. She made sure that I was in that space where I didn't have to search yeah. far and wide to to feel like I can. Mm -hmm. And as we were growing up, I got to a point I realized that hey. I don't have a junior sister, but I have women in my network. Oh. And so I should be able to give to them and tell them, you know what, there is a space where you can be yourself. Mm -hmm. There's a space where you can come and cry, where you can just feel free and just say it as you feel it. Yes. And there are people there who can support you yeah. to move. And they and will listen it. to you. And they will listen to yes. you, judgment free. Mm -hmm. okay. And so that's it. it. I live my life by, you know, that's how I, my network, we call it sisters supporting or sisters lifting sisters. Very important. Mm -hmm. Just what we like, need. Just lift up your sister, mm -hmm. support, because that's what we need. That's what we need. That's what because we need. Because ironically, women tend to be one of the very first to backlash other women. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you want to get a platform where they're criticizing a woman, ironically, you one of those women the woman. most bitter words will come women. from women. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we need to learn how to do, to be able to even move on and achieve those dreams. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. there is one aspect which used to make me want to smile a little. It, it has to do with far-fetched dreams. Hmm. Now, I kind of think that some dreams are naturally limited just from perceiving them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this, don't laugh at this, but <laughs> let me use this example. Imagine me hmm. trying and dreaming and dying to be a model. Yeah. What but, am I thinking? <laughs> but you can. What are you saying? I'm talking about. It's I'm possible. talking about yeah. this. You're one, talking one, about one you. Short, <laughs> round it's possible. Lady. It's very yeah. possible. Well, cute though. Yeah, mm. well round. <laughs> possible. Mm -hmm. it's it's very I, possible. Well, this is just in a bit to say that I feel like some dreams are a little far fetched. Like you look at some uh, factors that um, do not come together to uh, to make that kind of a dream achievable in maybe say that kind of community mm -hmm. there, is that a possibility as well far-fetched dreams leading to you not achieving them yeah um let's see yeah there are some dreams that are unrealistic mm -hmm. 
con in, maybe <laughs> in terms of the context or yes. in terms of where you find yourself and the situations you're facing at that moment, okay. for example. Let's take the example you gave, right? Okay. You're desiring to become a model. A, mo a top model. The very first it's thing is, model. The very first thing is oh. modeling is not only for the, the slim, you know, the skinny, well, it's not just the people. slim here, but the height too. Yeah. <laughs> it's not only because when you look at it, in society we have people of different stature, yeah. of different build, mm -hmm. yeah. and in not every society we have all these people groups represented. And that's why there is a lot of talk about body shaming, which is a yeah. cause that I yeah. hold so dearly mm -hmm. to because it's something mm -hmm. that I have been victim of several times. So I don't know what it means for somebody to body shame you. Mm -hmm. But it, it, is, it is one of those things that we help to re educate society to realize that people come in different packages. Mm -hmm. I understand we've already booked someone for the that program, but mm -hmm. we're talking about uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, like every say. package mm -hmm. is a representation of, mm -hmm. of beauty in yes. itself. Mm -hmm. And so what we advocate for is for everybody everybody yeah. to be appreciated in its beauty. And yeah. so when you look at somebody who is chubby, who is short, who is, mm -hmm. there are people who are like that. Yeah. And so there is a yet space. Yet beautiful. Yet beautiful. Mm -hmm. Not even yet beautiful. <laughs> chubby, and, short, and oh, please. beautiful. I just the moment like you put yet, <laughs> it's already conditioning exactly. the beauty of the You're right okay. there. Yeah. So it's, it, it's, 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 a, it's possible. It's very, very possible. possible. The problem is that fear of failure. Okay. You're afraid that you will not make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're afraid that you will not afraid be received. You will yes. not You're exactly. The people you want to You'll be judged. That's what's yes. limited. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily society. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes society feeds on what they receive. Yeah. Okay, you so serve when, them. When so you well, serve them this and mm -hmm. they see how beautiful mm -hmm. and how worthy it is, they jump up behind it. I mean, I always say social media is like... Um, like it's like a bandwagon, you know, as a train is moving and yeah. you know, when it's coming, choo choo mm -hmm. choo choo, mm -hmm. choo yes. all aboard. Boom. Everybody, <laughs> everybody yes. Nobody cares to know the destination. Mm -hmm. Why they don't mm -hmm. care? The moment they hear, just choo, going choo, all aboard. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you feed them with the right thing, they will come to understand, they will come to appreciate, and they will they will value it. And there are people who are doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are people who are doing it. That's why mentors are very important. Okay, yeah, mentorship. Yeah. So before we get to mentorship, mm -hmm. we've talked about education mm -hmm. and uh, today the society is evolving. We are getting new things. For example, we are getting to know about artificial intelligence and how to make use of artificial intelligence. Now, in our context, in our African context, we, we tend to like always be behind to be the last people to receive like let's see what how it's working in other places before mm -hmm. we jump in mm -hmm. to know if it's going to work for us but then it's also good we jump in the same time everybody is jumping in so that we all move together so we have uh, dr martina mbanyo nana she is the director of uh, the global language center she explained to journalists how they can make use of artificial intelligence because I was speaking to someone in the US and she was telling me that if you are not using artificial intelligence, then what are you using? Like, <laughs> you it say. makes work easy. Yeah. It makes work not that it's it because I told her that we learned that it will make us to be lazy. lazy. Mm -hmm. It makes us to not to work, not to be creative. She said no, it makes work easy because by the time you're there trying to be crafting something in your head, some other person has already done it <laughs> in just less than one minute and the thing is out. Meanwhile, so now you need to learn how to be creative mm -hmm. by using these tools. Mm -hmm. So we spoke to uh, Dr. Martina and she gave some journalists how the exposed to us how we can make use of, uh, artificial. of artificial intelligence artificial. and not be lazy or less creative. Mm -hmm. So let's just listen to her in the, this except of an interview that we did with her. Normally, when I want to go in for something, especially to professionals, I try to look at their career and look for something that makes it easy for them to work, to empower themselves, to build their capacity without having tears, and something that will be very efficient. And of recent, the talk has been AI. AI in marketing, AI in teaching, AI in... So I looked at journalism when they asked me, I said, but of course, we could go to artificial intelligence because if you go backward, 
most of the journalists have been sweating out with their own intelligence, most of them linguistic. But now with the addition of AI tools, they can easily get material, mountains of material that they will use at the click of a finger. And it is important for them because most of our journalists in Cameroon don't know that they can build themselves, grow in esteem, grow in confidence due to the simple fact that they are good at using the AI tools and that they master the app that is applicable to their job. So that was uh, Dr. Martina Banyu Nanash talking about artificial intelligence and how as journalists we can use it to perfect our profession. So I'll come to you, Leila. You are a journalist and then you buy this idea with her, right? Because she says it helps you to work smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think artificial intelligence is one of those things that we really need to embrace. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, like you said, a lot of people think that it makes you lazy. lazy. Mm -hmm. But when you when you study and you learn to use it, you realize that it, it makes you smart. Because first of all, to even ask the appropriate questions to get the answers. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of work mm -hmm. for you to craft a question that can really give you the answer what you're you seeking. And since um, there's this saying that there's nothing new under the sun, mm -hmm. whatever you could want to write or think about, somebody has written and said exactly. it somewhere. Yeah. So why not just get that and use that as a basis to come up with something useful in your context? I think where maybe people will talk about laziness is just copying whatever copy it says yeah. and just copy yeah. and paste and you don't take time to to maybe go through and ensure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that if you have citations, you're able mm -hmm. to give credit where it's due, avoid plagiarism sure. and all those things. Mm -hmm. I think that's where maybe you could talk of people being lazy to put in the work, but the work just getting to ask the right questions so that you can get the answers. It's, 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 it's something that makes you smart as well. So I okay. think it's a good thing. Okay. We should so embrace now, it. It brings us now to our topic. This artificial intelligence, if women, African women can use this mm -hmm. to, it, I think it plays a role in uh, overcoming these uh, limiting beliefs. Like you thinking that you cannot do this, you cannot do this. Because I know that there are some people who still do not know how to manipulate a smartphone. Of course. So many people, <laughs> so many people. And you, well, let me go to the rural areas where we mm -hmm. have our mothers there. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, there was one day I, I was in school and I was uh, chatting with my mom on WhatsApp mm -hmm. and I registered her name, Mommy. Mm -hmm. So one lady, she peeped into my phone and she was like, you're talking with your mom on WhatsApp. Wow. I'm like, <laughs> we're in the 21st century. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it surprising? Why is it surprising? And she's like, no. Yeah. What's so, WhatsApp? Come on. You're talking to your mom? <laughs> How old is she? When did she birth you? <laughs> so I mean, it's, it, it's kind of limiting some people not to jump into technology. They don't mm. want to get into They feel like technology is, is too much for them. It's not our thing. It's, it's not yes. for us. Yes. It's, it's for the West. Let them stay with their thing there. They shouldn't yeah. come to pollute our yeah. society. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's not true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's I think this one, she, she this made one. a point mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. why don't we as Africans mm -hmm. jump in this at the same time? Yes. Why don't we also begin something? Don't wait until some people do something mm -hmm. and then you start copying and then you start wanting to do like them. Mm -hmm. You start wanting to be like them. Why don't you also think of your own thing mm -hmm. and begin? For example, you were talking of a model, mm -hmm. and we were talking that model, we're saying models are slim people. Mm -hmm. That is what has been happening. Mm -hmm. That's what we have. In no. other words, model are we you begin, people. <laughs> Linda can begin mm -hmm. her modeling industry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with chubby people. Mm -hmm. Plus and size make models. them mm -hmm. with short people, with, with black people, with, with beautiful people like that, and make it, bring it out. And it's going to be it's going to beat the the, the slim people we know you depending on say. how mm -hmm. you promote it how you 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 package it and how you and when you're starting like it you tell us <laughs> <laughs> yes so you can begin i was just telling somebody a daughter a sister of mine which okay. is preparing for her wedding and we we're thinking of the kind of dress yes they want to wear the long white dress mm -hmm. then we said where did this long white dress come from 
-hmm. Back in our villages, we our grandmothers did not wear long white dress. But they stayed married for a God knows how long. Married, yeah. and <laughs> they got married, and they married. married, and it was beautiful. <laughs> People celebrated and mm -hmm. all of that. But now we young girls, modern girls, we want to. Where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to wear long white dress. I am not against wearing long white sure. dress, but now. Why don't you think of your own dress, not mm -hmm. white? Mm -hmm. It could be white, but not necessarily long white. Mm -hmm. It's something new. And do it in another beautiful way that another people out there will see. I want, I want it to be like mm -hmm. that. Speaks not well necessarily. For you. Speak mm -hmm. for yourself. Develop. Be creative. And so we can get into this as well. Not necessarily waiting for people to begin something yeah. and then we jump. When we see it. that, okay, before we now say, okay. And then we say, okay, <laughs> it's working for them, so yeah. it can work for us. <laughs> yes. It may Don't work say, for I us. tried and yeah. failed, so I will not try again. Mm -hmm. That is a limiting belief. Mm -hmm. When you try and fail, go back, learn on, think re strategize. Of, re strategize. What were the things that I did? That we're we're talking to a lady here on the program, I bet, to interrupt. She said one of the best ways of learning is by failing. It's by failing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Perfect. It's by failing. When you fail, you learn. And you overcome what you failed in. Mm -hmm. And then you are able to progress. Yeah. And even do better. And develop on yourself. Develop your skills. And you go back there. Try again and fail. Mm -hmm. You. You're challenging me. Go back. Go to school, study, develop yourself, use the artificial intelligence, use other intelligence yeah. and learn. Creative, and then you go back, you different, try other dimensions, mm -hmm. not to just the one direction, because you want to go, go like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also take other uh, different ways, different mm -hmm. paths, mm -hmm. you will arrive in the same uh, the, that's very destination you're hoping for yeah and you will also be a pioneer of something new yes and people will i come could be the first this. short black model <laughs> first short around black model, model. <laughs> yes <laughs> you start and then you keep pressing on who is this short black girl always popping up popping herself always coming up I saw her last time. This girl seems serious. Yes. I think I want to know more about it. Oh, I like the way she is bringing it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I want to partner with this girl. Oh, I want to. And yeah. that is how it goes out. And the way you're talking, I kind of feel that it, it rather will call more... I will call more attention because you're seeing yes. all those tall, slim, slender silhouettes and all. You. And then there's some dog there who, is, you know, <laughs> who is that? You know, you I have one of my videos, my video yeah. going home. Okay. One of my songs yeah. started going home, the mm -hmm. video. And what is captivating there is one of the dancers who is short and black. Mm. Oh, okay. very short and chubby. That and is she the person that very smart. Me. I, have, I don't know if I think you watched it the last yes. time we interviewed her. She I, is she's smart. so smart. Oh. And you, she dances. You, you, and when every so any person watch that, uh, any person sees that video, mm -hmm. they were like, I like the way that girl dances. Mm -hmm. The attention she is yes. it. Yeah. She gets the attention, mm -hmm. and it makes it beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when we were doing it, the director said. Don't mind that girl you see like that. That is what is going to call the. the oh, you don't kids. say. <laughs> and she did. He had seen that because already. she was different. Yes. So be bring your different, your 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 uniqueness. Yeah, this is my difference. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> bring it out and be proud of it. Oh. Be proud of it because when you're sure you're making as if ah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Huh? Because like like she said, Lily had it said it's what you sell. It's that what you buy. sell. Yes. You put it out there yeah. and to, to talk about that. There is, there is this aspect on religion. I had been wondering, do you think religion can pose as a limitation as well to achieving your dreams? Maybe I begin this one with you. Okay. Um, religion. Mm. Mm. A big deal. It's a big deal in several contexts. It's a big deal in several contexts. And um, um, if we want to look at everything put together, but I'll speak for myself. I'll speak for myself as a okay. Christian. Mm -hmm. And to me, 
from my perspective, it is the foundation. Okay. It is the foundation to right living. Mm -hmm. It is the foundation to right believing. Mm -hmm. It is the foundation to a right, an upright, a stable society. It is. Yeah. That's from my perspective now, because there are other people who hold different perspectives. Sure. And, and I will speak, and I will say that when I talk about you figuring out your why, I am simply saying that you need to go on a spiritual journey. Yeah. And it's up to you what spirituality is. Mm -hmm. You go on a spiritual journey because there is so much more than meets the eyes. Sure. All you see is not all there is. Mm -hmm. I'm not scaring anybody. Oh, great. <laughs> all you see is not all there is. Mm -hmm. There is so much more to us as persons mm -hmm. and so much more to our world. And that journey to understanding and seeing it mm -hmm. is what many people fear to go on. This thing is, is really, it, it, it's a little complicated in the sense that uh, when we spoke with uh, you the other time, Pastor Great, yeah. there was something she mentioned of in a career where women as musicians, as artists in, in gospel music, they tend to uh, limit them in a way like some churches, you know, not the individual, but some churches tend to want to like, you no, know, because you, you spoke of one lady who couldn't perform uh, in some church, I remember the other time on the mm -hmm. radio, because they feel like, okay, when you're a woman, Women do you, not have their place in the, on the pulpit. Yeah, yeah in, in some churches. Mm -hmm. do, do you hold, that? have you had that kind of uh, situation where religion wants to, have you ever heard of a situation where religion kind of wants to limit someone's uh, achievement of a dream maybe in your domain as an artist, a musician? Well, uh, I remember the last time we were here, we was there another artist, she yes, said that, yes. yes, that she visited one church oh, and yes. there was mm -hmm. some kind of uh, that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be, it could be in some uh, churches or, now, we are, back in the days, our religion was, really we were so so we had this limiting belief you know there was this time i remember when the the android phone came mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and they said it is it's not good that it is demonic yes we're communicating with spirits yes. mm -hmm. something <laughs> I, I, I remember there was something like that it was not good you're going to they're going devilish things are going to be uh, coming up but now pastors use Android phones they need tablets to preach their sermons yes. because they were not they didn't want to accept this modernization this um, uh, uh, new thing they were seeing it as something so, so sometimes we should actually open our head thank God we she was talking of AI some people will say AI is not good <laughs> it's going to prevent you from being smart or from thinking laziness. Mm -hmm. Why don't you use it in order to improve yourself? Rather than being lazy, you can use it to become double smart. Yes, you've said it and I actually remember when you first said the, back in the days, they were mm -hmm. feeling like Android phone mm -hmm. is a problem. I was like, well, before it dawned on me mm -hmm. that at first we couldn't use the phone in church and mm -hmm. uh, there, there's some uh, servants around who will come and snatch oh, your phone yes. because you've touched your phone mm -hmm. in church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then later now, it was like, okay, I'm reading my, my uh, Bible. Yeah, I don't even verse. need to say that, look, it's yes. my Bible, I'm, Bible. I'm reading, <laughs> yes. You know, you need to show it to yes. prove that no, it is not just uh, a phone, maybe. Phone. On, yes. So you, you it's so we walk around. Really the, our Bibles are now in the phone. phone. In the phone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we have to be disciplined, though. Of course, when using that mm -hmm. in church, we have to be disciplined. We know we don't. We mm -hmm. have to be in the presence that of distraction God. That distraction should the distraction. We but we can use it orderly. Mm -hmm. Yes, the house of God there is order, and God is orderly. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yes. So uh, we can use this. We can use this. So um, there is nothing wrong in accepting the the the, the, the AI, mm -hmm. the artificial intelligence, New technology. Yes. and well, as you said, I will also say I'm a gospel artist, mm -hmm. and gospel is my life. Mm -hmm. 
it has shaped me and I am living a life of God, a life of a Christian life, mm -hmm. because everything about my life is gospel. Because I discovered that everything is in God. Everything, life, the Bible says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Yeah. And if you want life, anything you want in life, it says, all that I have, I have given you everything that pertains to life and godliness. Whatever you want, whatever aspirations, whatever dreams you have, it is in the in, in God, or it is in the Word of God. God has already made it for at our disposal. Mm -hmm. We can have it by the power of God that is in us. Says, in uh, you can do exceedingly, abundantly more than what you can ever ask or imagine, according to the power that is at work in you. Now that is faith. That is faith. Believe. Last time I said that. Now. We are like blank papers, yeah. and you can believe on anything, and what you believe on, that is how you're going to is going to direct your life. You have to know who you are, know be, have your goal, mm -hmm. have your purpose, write on that paper. Are you a child of God? Have you been saved? Now this is who I am, and she said something here I loved so much. She said the, the gospel. Or, or, or it's like the foundation. Yeah, religion mm -hmm. is a foundation. And when you have that as the foundation of your life, you are, it is, it is a foundation that cannot be shaken. Mm. You deeply have rooted. faith, it deeply mm -hmm. rooted. Mm -hmm. no, no storm, no wind, toasting on it can shake it. And so you are able to face the challenge that is out there because they will come. Yeah. The seas, the waves, sure the sharks, they are out there waiting mm -hmm. for you. You see, the world is not just what you see, it's beyond that. So you should be able to overcome. You should have that in you to overcome all the stumbling blocks that you will face. And that begins with your foundation. And that is why we say Christianity or religion is paramount. We should trust in God. As a Christian, you should trust in God, believe in God, set your goals, hold on to God. Father, you said this, I can be there. You said this, so I can be this, because I believe. Because what you say must come to pass, because you do not lie. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. is God and he is faithful. Mm -hmm. So you hold on to that and you live your life, not desperately, mm -hmm. not so crazily you want to, because God, you do crazy things because you want to follow the right path. One thing I'll always say to somebody who I talk with, I've been telling my friends and people, do always do the right. Yeah. Positive. Don't want to be a journalist. Don't want to be a musician. And then you do nonsense because you want to. And then when you get there, you say, "Oh, glory to God, I am this you fine." Now. <laughs> when you know the Bible says that, um, what's that scripture? That uh, riches, godly riches, are no sorrow or something. Mm -hmm. Riches, things that God bless you, you it will add no sorrow. Okay. But when the blessings you, of the Lord the blessings makes you of rich. The Lord, yeah. Thank and you so much. much. So. The blessings of the Lord makes you rich. I added no, no sorrow. sorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you follow the right path. But now when you follow, you, you take the other way, don't think that everything has its consequence. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will have its consequence. Follow the right path. Do the right thing. Do okay. the right thing. And you will flourish without any, but if you go the other way, you will start paying in due time. Okay. And mm. your foundation is not solid. It will collapse and you will fail. So, you know, Le 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 really Le Leila, Leila talked about uh, religion being the, the foundation. Mm -hmm. And religion, you know, let's take for the case of Christianity. Yeah. So many people believe in uh, Christianity and uh, the, the Bible is like the pathfinder. Mm. for Christians. And now when the Bible talks about uh, women not climbing the pulpit, mm -hmm. the Bible talks about uh, women, uh, men being the head and the women, you know, the, the, the man is the, the, the head of head. the woman. Yes. Meanwhile, Christ is the head of the man. So now, don't, do you think that this has been able to shape society to put woman, the women under? Mm. Like, you should not go above your husband. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It also can boils down mm -hmm. to the family. Like mm -hmm. when uh, we have couple, couple, with the man is earning let's say one hundred thousand, and then the woman is earning two hundred thousand, and woman starts seeing the wife somehow like I'm supposed to be the head <laughs> yeah. so you have to leave that job mm -hmm. because I'm supposed to be the one bringing more and not mm -hmm. you I'm the one taking care of the home so don't you think that this is a kind of belief that society has really put in the head and some women already buying into it because they don't want to go beyond their, yeah. their, their yeah. husbands Potential. Yeah. I, I think I like the way you put it I believe that society has put because there was a difference between what the word of God says and mm -hmm. how it's interpreted. Yeah, so many right? people have their own interpretation. And, and in this context, I will say it is more of an interpretation issue mm -hmm. okay. and not what is said. Mm -hmm. It's more of an interpretation issue because, um, and it's understood because um, in everything, even in every study you do, you want to take into consideration the context wherein a statement was made. Yeah. who was being addressed, why were they being addressed. And when you place everything in context, you're able to see how it applies to you who lives out of the context. And you're able to be able to discern and rightly divide. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a problem that has faced Christianity for a very long time, that um, rightly dividing the word has been a very big issue. But when it comes to women, mm -hmm. what I know and what I really believe is that the woman is not, I, I don't want to use the word so it's not misunderstood. When they say a woman, the man is the head of the home, mm -hmm. it doesn't end there. Mm -hmm. You say even as Christ is the head of the church. Mm -hmm. And so it's not headship in terms of lording over somebody. Mm -hmm. It is headship in terms of your covering. Okay. It is headship in terms of the, somebody, a voice that can lead, a sound voice that you can hear and you can follow. It's not headship in terms of, I will lord you. Mm -hmm. And it's not headship in terms of, I earn 20,000, you must earn 5,000. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with our, what we have. It has everything to do with things that are divine, things that are spiritual, and mm -hmm. things that are, are beyond. Mm -hmm. So I say it's more than what meets the eyes. And so if Christ is the head of the church, you don't see him, right? Yeah. When you see Christ the head of the church, it's not saying that, okay, um, it is Christ that has to come and preach on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Though he ministers through his ministers, he yeah. ministers through people, but you don't see him physically, you don't, but he is the one that is at the head of the church. The, the, the authority, the mm -hmm. voice of the church, the legal, the voice that you need to hear. Same in your home. Mm -hmm. Your husband is the head, he is the covering. He is the one, the voice that holds authority in the yeah. home, that can speak in defense of his home, mm -hmm. that can keep speak in defense of his wife, his yeah. children. Mm -hmm. He keeps watch over them. Mm -hmm. His authority is not authority of, um, 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 Frenchman calls it mépris. Yes. Okay. You know, your wife, your children. No, that you is not the authority of the man. It's not degrading your wife. Mm -hmm. And so I say it's a problem of misunderstanding and misinterpretation. Mm -hmm. And in this context, when you're talking about the story of the woman not... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a problem, it's an issue of interpretation. Mm -hmm. This is not a religious something, there's no need going into, <laughs> into the religious <laughs> discussions yeah. that you end up in, in, in uh, some viewers getting on it. It's, 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 yes. it's, but it's an issue of interpretation. Yeah. A woman, a Christian woman, is valued. A Christian woman has a place. Mm -hmm. A Christian woman like Lydia, the seller of purple, she is the one that heralded the gospel of Paul. Mm -hmm. She started. She is the one that financed Christian women, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother. There are examples. There is Deborah, there is Esther. There, mm -hmm. there are so many Christian women who stood as judges, as leaders, yeah. wives of kings, mother of the Son of God. What are we talking about? What are we it's, 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 it's evidence that women are esteemed. It's evidence yeah. that women are, yeah. are loved, women are cherished, women are upheld in Christianity. And so women should not use that as an excuse yeah. not to do what they ought to do. Yeah. Yeah. Things are changing. People are understanding that the woman has a place even in the, In fact, the man is the head. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Mm -hmm. The woman is the it's neck. The neck. <laughs> Without the neck, how does the head stand? How does it function? Mm -hmm. so I think that's it. And I would like yes. to say, many a times, women, some women, bring up this topic for, 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 to quarrel on it or to make noise on it because they are running, they are trying to, 
to run away from the fact that women are supposed to be submissive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women, some women tend to be too proud mm -hmm. to want to place themselves up there, to want to make themselves bosses. They love to, 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 to lead, to yeah. be bossy. And that is a spirit that you can be a boss, but a humble boss. Mm -hmm. Men are, to, are, are, are those with authority. And that is how God has made it. We have to respect our men. We have to be submissive. The Bible says wives. And these wives are women. Mm -hmm. So we need to be submissive. When you are submissive to your husband, you can respect another man's husband. You can respect a man out there. And it makes it just natural that men generally are up. And now, when you are a vocal, a violent, and a bossy woman, you want to be bossy to your husband and even all the other men out there. Mm -hmm. And it turns you now, this point keeps coming. We are equal. We can do better than men. We want to be <laughs> like mm -hmm. this. And that fight... Feminism gets to a different level. <laughs> gets to a different level. That fight keeps intensifying. But if we understand as women that we have to be submissive, Men have this authority and they are our head and has the voice in our home. We are going to be more than these men because these men are going to elevate us. They are going to uplift us. They are the head, but we are the neck. Yes. <laughs> yes. And without us, they will not function. Mm -hmm. You give them the, 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 you give them what, you tell them what to say. Sometimes they stand there. And they will say, your husband will say what you told him in the room. Very possible. And you sit there like the queen. Mm -hmm. And you're just nodding. Yeah, that's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that's my husband speaking. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the joy. Yeah. And it gives him the joy too. Because mm -hmm. he is succeeding. You are succeeding. That is your role. Because you are some. You don't come there and say, ah, no, I have said that. Mm -hmm. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be like this. Mm -hmm. No, what yeah. he said is wrong. Mm -hmm. Why are you opening are you in some competition? <laughs> Why are you in some competition? Mm -hmm. So we are simply running away from that fact that we need to be submissive. We don't want to be submissive. Mm -hmm. And being submissive <laughs> is making you great, yeah. rather. I always not hate people who are coming to the end of this program. <laughs> yes, I always do. Do you um, have your last word before we hear on? I, I really wish we could just, you know, keep on and on because we've got so much to well, I, I, I enjoyed the program today because we've, we've overcome that belief yes. already. So we are no more talking about limiting belief, mm -hmm. but we've overcome the limiting belief. Those yes. things that make you think that you cannot do it. Yes. Well, I have a good news for you. You can do it. Just you believe in it. yourself. Yes. Know, what, know your exactly. worth. Mm -hmm. Get education. Get yourself educated to know who you are. And yeah. uh, most importantly, get people to help you, mentors, coaches. Mm -hmm. To help you, you'll be able to achieve your dream. No matter the time, you'll achieve it. Definitely. Thank you very much, ladies. And you're looking forward to seeing the next uh, model who actually <laughs> is going to be stout. No and, other than the Diana yeah, yeah. They said, can do it, so why not? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we come to the end of this edition of Moa Farm. And I really uh, don't like leaving, but the fact that I'm leaving with the information that nothing should limit you. You should achieve what you can the right way because like the Bible says if you get it the right way then you're not supposed to cry at the end of the day so do not look at that person who is flying there and achieving it all the wrong way because that's not what matters but the end result is what matters and as a woman you can achieve those dreams regardless ladies and gentlemen stay tuned to uh, this program and other programs here on Dash Media meanwhile for those who did not get the chance to pick the program on time you can still have that opportunity on Monday at 2.30 p.m. Have a pleasant weekend. Bye-bye. Mm.